Okay, well, my microphone is dead. Awesome. <laughs> because this day couldn't get any worse. Okay, so Barbosa is fixed. $540 later, plus the 160 I spent at Love's yesterday, plus all this deaf that I have now eaten. They filled my deaf tank, so that's nice. I think. Maybe they didn't. Either way, uh, we are super late. I was supposed to be there at 7 o'clock this morning. It is now 2.30. In 0 0.2 oh. miles, turn right on County Road B, CRB. Now we're not doing that, Tom. We're getting back on the highway. Uh, not to mention that I'm supposed to be picking up another load in Minnesota right now. <laughs> That's not happening. Thankfully, they're open till midnight. It all depends on what's going to happen when I drop these tires. And what's, 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 what's? <sighs> what a day. In 600 feet, turn right on County Road B, CRB. I will explain everything later. As of right now, I just don't have time. I really don't. I have to move. I have to move fast. I will film what I can. But we need to go. <laughs> first our actual delivery like the delivery I was supposed to do this morning and or this morning and didn't because the truck decided it didn't want to work this morning um, truck is fine apparently um, as far as I'm to understand let's make sure this Steve didn't text me nope okay or did he uh, yeah maybe <laughs> anyway um, so the truck went into I have bad deaf mode and then it went further into I have bad deaf mode and then it went further into I have bad deaf mode stop driving um we went to loves which we talked about a little bit yesterday I think and if I didn't I'm talking about it now um so if I did Al you can cut all this out and just move on to the next part we went to loves we um had them pull some def out I put some new def in but that was after they changed a fuel uh, not a fuel filter a def filter which I do feel like I talked about this um, because it's not the whole DPF mess it is a def filter it's different so I did something in my eye today I think I just stressed myself out so then um, once they couldn't clear my codes they tried they hooked up to their computer a couple of times and they just don't have the software to clear out my codes um, I had to go back I had to go to the Kenworth across the street um, cause it's a Packard motor, so I can take it to a Kenworth, um, and they work on it, no problem. I love this Kenworth, the one in Menominee. They're great people, I've been. They are awesome. Um, moved the truck late in the middle of the night, um, had a random police escort because I was going so slow. I was trying to do it in the middle of the night so that I wouldn't disturb anybody, and I still got a police escort. It was very weird. Uh, got to the Kenworth, waited until 6 o'clock this morning. When they opened, went inside, checked in. The guy, this tech was super cool. He's like, I'll just move you to the front of the line. We'll take care of you. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much. I am under so much stress right now. So the technician finally got into it at about 7.30 because he said the techs don't come in until 7. So I said, all right, cool. So when the tech finally got in here, super nice guy. Um, took it into the shop. Um, he hooked the computer up. It looks like he cleared the stop five mile an hour code. Um, but the regular, like the def code was still flashing. So he ended up taking apart a good chunk of this and like cleaning some stuff out of a nozzle by the dozer. Um, and then putting it all back together and it's fine. So no more def in Janesville. Um, that may not have, I've bought a lot of def in Janesville. Um, so I'm assuming that at some point, like on one of these runs into Wisconsin and out again, um, the def just has built up to the point where it's bad, so I'm just not gonna get, go there for death anymore. Um, it has me leery about my loyalties for TA and Petro, like if their death is actually like causing problems in my system. I don't know, but it could be anybody's death, really. I don't know, I don't know. I, the jury is still out on that whole thing. Um, so anyway, now that we're here, oh, so yeah, the truck is fine now, truck is great, runs great, no problems. 
done. I was down for most of Sunday after like two o'clock in the afternoon and then well 24 hours really because I left at about two two thirty three o'clock so anyway um got here finally I'm next to my empty trailer that I'm supposed to be picking up right uh but there's a kingpin on it like a lock I know there's kingpin on it but there's a lock on said kingpin <coughs> so I can't leave until someone unlocks the kingpin <laughs> Which means I can't drop this trailer, which means I can't pick up an empty, which means I can't go get my next load. So we're waiting on them currently. They know that I'm late and I have said I can't pick it up tonight because they close at like midnight. And I said, I can't pick it up tonight, but I can be there first thing in the morning. First thing. First thing. Easy. Um, I can be there at like 6, 30, 7 o'clock. Go pick up. Oh, the sun is set officially. Hooray. We're in North Dakota. We're in Fargo. It's kind of cool. There's a big crane right there. It's just hanging out, blowing in the wind. There's an XPO place over there that's been making some noise. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much been my... It's just been rough. The hard part is just sitting around waiting to see if you're going to be stuck there and if you have to cancel loads and stuff. Right now we're seeing if this other company that I'm supposed to be picking up at next is cool with me picking up tomorrow. It sounds like we're going to be fine. Um, but, you know, I'm still nervous. What if they say no? Then I have to find another load really quickly or I'm going to lose my Vegas trip. That's life. <laughs> Whatever. So I guess I'm stuck here until someone shows up at like 11 p.m. tonight. I'll meet them and maybe do my swap. Maybe not. I should be able to do my swap. I started my clock at like 3. <laughs> Ta-da! We are loaded. We are getting ready to leave. We have chosen a route. Good morning, Internet! We're going to take a sort of different route because these bills say specifically on the must not exceed 6,000 feet elevation. Carrier responsible for all damages. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we're going to Salt Lake City. So I'm on the other side of the mountains. There's not really a good way to get there that you don't go over 6,000 feet at all. The Flagstaff is above 6,000. Uh, 70 is right out. Uh, Wyoming is like 8,000. And pieces of Montana and Idaho are both right around six and seven thousand. So I called actually Steve did, but we called dispatch. Um the people that actually own this load, and we were like, hey guys, oh <laughs> let me say that first. Hey guys, where uh where do you want us to take this load? Because <laughs> Everything is above 6,000. And they replied with, they just don't want you to take 70 De west of Denver. And I was like, okay, well, like, I'm not doing that because that's a dumb route. <laughs> and then um, I, I had sent an email to the guy that booked this load. He said the same thing. And I talked to the guys when I was getting loaded. Um, and I asked them, I said, do you want the 6,000 feet? Which, where, where am I going? And they repeated the same thing, just I-70 west of Denver. And I said, that's fine. <laughs> I was going to do that on a different load, not this one. Uh, so I could go through Wyoming, but Wyoming is windy. It's known for being windy. Or we could go through Montana and Idaho and straight down. I think that's what I'm going to do because then I'll want to avoid all the wind. Two it would be a little chilly, but we haven't been to Idaho or Wy uh, Montana in a really long time. And we'll have other opportunities to go to Wyoming. Trust me, we'll go to Wyoming. So I'm a little excited about that. That's going to be good. So we'll we'll do that. We're going to start that trip here probably in about 20 minutes. I got to go outside and recheck the truck and make sure everything is good.
West Fargo yesterday. They were really nice. Well, that was lovely. I got a bunch of dishes done. What else did I do? I got fuel. That's very important. I did not get down. One, I'm still really scared. <laughs> I don't want to have it happen again. Um, I gotta get deaf at some point. I'll get deaf at my next stop because it'll be a TA and uh, Billings, I believe. Laurel. Uh, that's the next fuel stop Steve has prescribed to me. He built this cool, cool tool that like does all that stuff and finds the cheapest fuel stop with all of our discounts on route. And it's really nice because uh, then we can do all the math that goes with it. That's the next fuel he needs to make is the math tool so that it'll just say this is how many gallons you're gonna eat up between here and there this is how many gallons are gonna go in this is how much money you need <laughs> that's the next step uh the only thing i didn't do was clean the windows so in 800 feet turn right on 45th street south uh, and down late.
Take the entrance to the left on I-90 West. They don't want me to go to, like, I-70 West of Denver? They're definitely not going to want me to go to uh, Yellowstone. Ding, ding. Okay, can somebody explain to me why people pull two trailers when they're pulling their own crap? I mean, I get you want to bring your boat, but, like, why didn't you just buy a Class A? This is cheaper and I already own the truck. Shut up. Stop being smart. It just doesn't seem... I don't like pulling doubles. That's all.
right, is that okay? I see that you have diverted traffic so that we could all go right. I appreciate that. <laughs> ding, ding. Here he comes. Okay, he's behind me now. Which is, which is fine. They're from Alberta. Well, this guy's from Alberta. That guy's from Utah. I think he's going to shut down. Are you going to shut down traffic? What are you doing? You're going the wrong way. Everybody's going to the right. What are you doing? Uh, he's making noise. It's his boobs. Are you going to block traffic for me? That'd be really awesome. I would really appreciate that. Thanks, man. <laughs> They're blocking traffic for me. Where are these going? <laughs> Get around you. 